ratchet lock lever. some wires here so this is that uh, fan override switch and you got the horn Most of these wires unplugged. A couple of them broke. There's a uh, starting to get some corrosion in there, which uh, makes sense. It's been a while. Just gotta disconnect this throttle cable. I think I kind of got it mocked up where I want it. Uh, there's a hanger plate already made for up here with some uh, like isolator bushings in there here. I suppose it takes some vibration out. So I might, the bottom here has these standoffs. I might make a, maybe find some isolators put on there to drop it in for the bottom. Maybe have this bolt come all the way through, have a back plate also. So take some of the pivot out of there. And then uh, this will go back in there. The grill guard, I'm missing a grommet on this side. That's the uh, same concept that'll drop in those pins. This will go up here. How does that go like that? And the main bumper goes on there. The only thing is, I gotta make a connection for this. Uh, Fan. Probably just weld some uh, piece of angle or something back there. Welded nut on the back or something, and have it bolted there down at the bottom. I just I don't know how close that sh fan should be to the radiator. Do a little digging on that. I'll test that uh, fan switch and just replace it if it's bad. Tidy up the hosing. Looking at a diagram, I'm like, man, there should be a uh, fill tank or an overflow tank. That's all back here. There's the overflow tank. Thermostat. Thermostat uh, cap. I think the drain plug's down underneath back there. So there's not there's not much fluid in there. It's all drain what's in there and start ripping into it. Alright, I think I located the drain plugs. I think there's two of them. One on each line. Come under here. So the hoses come into these tubes. 
I think that's a drain plug, and then there's one on this side also. So, get a tree under here, crack them loose, see what happens. Nothing came out. Also, there's a skid plate back in the trunk that goes under here. I'll lower this front end and uh, crack the radiator cap. See if we get anything. suction but there ain't much in there can't tell if this is rusty water or if it was that red that red uh, antifreeze Got it coming out the other side. I had to put a piece of wire up in there. It was blocked off. So I'm draining both sides here now. It's definitely antifreeze. It's sticky. Sure wish I was smarter when it came to wiring, but so the black and the blue come out of that fan switch. And this plugs into the fan, which has the, the black and the blue. This fan wires. The black and the blue. It just has to complete the circuit so that fan will or the switch will make contact when it gets hot but we have this white and blue which was what kind of what they bypassed it with their the switch they added manual switch so I wonder if the whole problem was something in this wiring harness not sure what that white's all about There's a blue comes up to this fuse, but that fuse is good. I don't know if that's an add-on. Have to do some testing, I suppose. Test my uh, multimeter skills here. So, got this coming out of the uh, fan switch. And that's blue and black, but here we got a blue and white and a blue and black coming in the connector to the fan switch. So, I'm 
I'm gonna see where this, uh, it's a white that will go to black. So there's continuity there. The blue to the blue. So I'm guessing if these were connected, then obviously it won't get continuity here until it heats up and closes that switch. So I don't know, it seems like that fan is good the whole time. Or this switch for it. So there's no continuity there because switch isn't triggered. So I would say it'll work. I'll test the fan too, but shouldn't be a problem. All systems go. Do a dry fit on that. All right, we got done fabbing this up. So we got this little slide on that plate in the bottom. Got the fan standing off. It's cobbled together. What I had laying around. And then she'll bolt up on top and hang from the top rail.
will work good. Let me get those hoses trimmed up first before I install the fan. All right, I think I got that radiator all tidied up. gap from the radiator. Now I gotta work on uh, this uh, fender liner. Probably make some more hangers or brackets. I'm not sure how this was clipped to before. But all these clip-on spots are all ripped out basically. So I'll try to come up with something to hang those little Clean it up a little bit. 